September 22, 2017 Jose continues to bring tropical storm conditions to southern New England, although the storm has become post-tropical. NASA's Terra satellite caught a view of the storm sitting almost stationary about 100 miles from Nantucket Island, Massachusetts. On September 21 at 11.25 a.m. EDT 1525 UTC, the MODIS instrument or Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectra Radiometer aboard NASA's Terra satellite took a visible picture of OSE. The image showed OSE's clouds in the northwestern quadrant continued sweep over southern New England, southeastern New York, and northeastern New Jersey. Jose is of large storm and the clouds in its northeastern quadrant are just south of Nova Scotia, Canada. Tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 220 miles 350 kilometers from the center. Jose formed on September 2 and has been around 20 days. The National Hurricane Center issued their 68th advisory on Jose on September 22. A tropical storm warning is in effect for Woods Hole to Sagamore Beach, including Cape Cod, Massachusetts, Block Island, Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket Island. At 5 a.m. EDT, National Hurricane Center NHC forecaster Zelinsky noted since the last advisory, a small burst of deep convection has been observed near the center of Jose. The cyclone is still embedded within a dry environment and located over cold sea surface temperatures, so it will be a little surprising if the convection is maintained for an extended period of time this morning. NASA's Aquas satellite observed OSE in infrared light on September 22 at 240 a.m. EDT 640 UTC that provided temperatures. The coldest clouds were the strongest storms. The Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectra Radiometer or MODIS instrument aboard NASA's Aquas satellite found two areas where cloud top temperatures were coldest and as cold as minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit minus 45.5 degrees Celsius. Those areas of coldest cloud tops and strongest storms were located in Jose's northeastern quadrant around the center of circulation and in a fragmented band of thunderstorms that stretched from New Jersey to western Massachusetts and northeast to southeastern Maine. At 8 a.m. EDT 1200 UTC on September 22 the center of post-tropical cyclone Jose was located near 39.7 degrees north latitude and 69.0 degrees west longitude. That's about 115 miles 185 kilometers south-southeast of Nantucket, Massachusetts. The post-tropical cyclone is moving slowly toward the west near 2 miles per hour 4 kph. Bose is expected to meander well off the coast of New England for the next several days. Maximum sustained winds are near 50 miles per hour 85 kph with higher gusts. Gradual weakening is forecast for the next 48 hours. The estimated minimum central pressure is 993 millibars. Minor coastal flooding is possible along portions of the coast of southern New England during the next few days. Swells generated by Jose are affecting Bermuda and much of the U.S. east coast and will likely cause dangerous surf and rip current conditions for the next couple of days in these areas. All of the dynamical models remain in good agreement that Jose will remain trapped in weak steering flow while gradually spinning down for the next several days. And for forecast updates on Jose, visit http www.nhc.noaa.gov. NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. We have handpicked the best science podcasts for 2017. Sit back and enjoy new science podcasts updated daily from your favorite science news services and scientists. Now playing Red Eye Lab Oliver Sipple one morning, Oliver Sipple went out for a walk. A couple hours later, to his own surprise, he saved the life of the President of the United States. But in the days that followed, Sipple's split-second act of heroism turned into a rationale for making his personal life into political opportunity. What happens next makes us wonder what a moment, or a movement, or a whole society can demand of one person. And how much is too much? Your browser does not support the audio element. Now playing TED Radio Our Future Consequences from Data Collection to Gene Editing to AI, what we once considered science fiction is now becoming reality. This hour, TED speakers explore the future consequences of our present actions. Guests include designer Anab Jain, futurist Juan Enriquez, biologist Paul Nopfler, and neuroscientist and philosopher Sam Harris. Your browser does not support the audio element.